Garrett, Aaron mentioned the fact that he liked the way that you finished strong there in that seventh inning. Just how much did you feel like you emptied the tank there? Um, I mean, pretty good. I, I thought we were making good pitches all inning. A um, few deep counts and, um, you know, some some quality pitches there, 3-2. Uh, but it, it ran the pitch count up a little bit. And, um, you know, we were able to fortunately – get out of there. I thought we did a nice job holding Dyson. Obviously, that's <laughs> that's kind of tough. So, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, felt strong at the end of the game. Um, so it was nice to nice to get out of that unscathed. It seemed like you leaned on your slider a, a little bit more tonight. What went into that decision making process? I thought just the location and the team. Uh, both kind of matched up well. And was it at all awkward? It seemed like in that inning you were looking for the umpire to come over to you and, and kind of check for substances. Is that just getting used to the new rules there? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a bit awkward. Thank you. Andy Martino, you have the next question. Uh Garrett, now that you've experienced that, uh, does it seem fair to you for pitchers who haven't been accused of anything yet individually to be stopped in the middle of 30,000 people and have to, in some cases, remove a belt or be checked and go through that in front of everyone routinely like that? Is that are you okay with the way it's being done? Um, I don't, I don't know. I just. I don't really know. I mean, I'm. I don't think really. Uh, it's a super comfortable situation for anybody. Um, but you know, it is what it is, and uh, maybe it'll we'll get more comfortable with it going forward. Thanks, Tom Merriam. You have the next question. Bird, is it on your mind when you're on the mound that they're going to check you eventually there? Or can you put it out of your mind? Mm, yeah, I'm, I think that, um, <clears throat> well, certainly it was, certainly I didn't want to walk past, like, you know, like walk past him or or be oblivious to the check the first, you know, the first couple times uh, when there was inevitably no check. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought about it a few times. Garrett, you, you've mentioned all through this process that it's been a little bit adjustment for you, just getting a grip on on the baseballs and stuff. Have you have you changed much in, in, in what you've done over say the past month as far as the way you've pitched or or how you've approached things, or just because it has been a, a, a kind of a big switch for a number of guys around the league? And I was wondering for you if, if, if it's been that way as well. Yeah, I'm just you know trying to adapt and adjust. Um... And, you know, obviously with a, with a lot on the line, you know, try to put location first, uh, sequencing first. Um, I mean, when it's all said and done, we're just looking to collect out. So if I can get outs on the pitches that I anticipate getting an out on, whether it's via the swing and miss or, or ground ball or fly ball or, you know, maybe a great defensive play, uh, you know, not going to be not going to be picky in that regard, um, but still, in, still, still definitely adjusting. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we just uh, keep. You know, I mean, pitching well. So, I'm not, I mean, throwing up throwing up innings, throwing up throwing up uh, throwing up a lot of zeros. So, um, just keep keep doing what we're doing and and. Push on. Yeah, I mean, just like along those lines, I mean, you are getting the results. I just wanted, like, early on, there was a lot, lot of contact more that you were getting contact out of people to get the outs that way. I'm wondering if that's going to be kind of more of, of what you're trying to do with the location and stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, it's always been, you know, a part of, I mean, gosh, if I had a dollar for how many times the Pirates told me to pitch a contact, you know, I mean, I'm, I may not have as much money now, but I'd still have quite a bit of money. I mean, like, that was what was hammered into us 
you know, growing up. And there's a lot of those fundamentals have never left my game. So, um, you know, right now, if you're not quite so comfortable locating a pitch at the top of the zone or really getting aggressive, spinning a, spinning a pitch to the bottom, you know, portion of the zone or, or taking a chance, you know, kind of over the plate, um, if there's maybe a more logical choice or, or something that can, you know, you can use to your advantage in terms of the defense or in terms of hitter weakness relative to self contact or ground balls like that, you know, maybe th those are those are things I think sometimes we're targeting, uh, you know, targeting because um, because you know we got to get outs and 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 you know the adjustment you know may take a little time. Thank you. And David, if you have the next question. Hey Garrett, you touched on a little this in your last answer, but just you know, how pleased are you with, with, when you talk about making these adjustments with your last three starts in particular? Yeah, I, I mean, if I'm evaluating tonight, uh, certainly um, the home run was was hard contact as a bad pitch. Um, Salvi was on a on a high fastball, pretty good, you know, predictable, you know, challenge kind of moment, and 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 a really really good fastball hitter, but. There was a couple of reactionary barrels, I thought, um, but we, we avoided hard contact for a majority of the night. You know, the, the first the first mark was a combination of, you know, obviously Witt doing his job, uh, putting the ball on the ground with runners on first and third, um, and then a couple, you know, finding the holes from 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 Taylor and Lopez, and you know, in those situations, guys putting the ball in play and 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 finding holes. You gotta you gotta kind of tip your cap. I mean, you're not gonna walk through this thing completely unscathed, but you know, we're making smart pitches and and we're you know, locations coming around a little bit, and and uh, you know finding opportunities to 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 try to excel and 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 give our team a chance to win every single time. So so certainly certainly really pleased with with a lot of those aspects for sure.